Okay, today's exercise that we're going to be talking about is the deadlift and how it can improve your explosive power through your legs and your hips for your martial arts. So, as I drive the bar up, I'm thinking of pushing down into the ground. The reason why I push down into the ground is to say basically I'm trying to generate hip power or hip movement up from the floor. So the more I push down into the ground, the more that my hips are able to move up into the ground. And that translates well into your martial arts where you're either trying to move an opponent off you in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or you're actually trying to rush in on an opponent and it's your hips that actually lead first. Okay, I step up to the bar making sure that the bar, the centre of the bar is in my centre line and legs are shoulder width apart with my feet facing forward. I squat down to the bar and I use an alternate grip with my hand, one hand facing backwards and one hand facing forwards. It's comfortable for me. Others use their, both their hands facing backwards. The bar's close to my shins because as I step up from the bar, I want the bar basically to go up in a straight line and the straightest line is close, as close as possible to your body, basically touching it. So I squat down to the bar, making sure that my arms are nice and tense on the bar, but relaxed, the muscles are relaxed. So it's tense as if I lift the bar upwards, but the muscles are relaxed. And it's my legs that do all the work. As I set myself down to the bar, into a comfortable set position, my main aim as I'm coming up is thinking of connecting all of my joints in the right order so that I can actually pull the bar up. So that stems first from the ankles, pushing down into a stable base into the ground, moving with my knees, and then the final thing is the hips moving up to the top. So basically being ex very explosive with your hips. The quicker you can move your hips from the floor and moving all of the other joints in coordination with those is the more powerful you will be. So as I do this slowly to demonstrate, I'm moving my ankles first, then my knees, and then my hips come in last. Again, now I'll do this at proper speed. And what you're aiming for as you pull the bar up is a full extension of your body with all of your joints moving at the same time. So therefore that you are generating as much power as you can rather than your hips moving at a certain time, uh, maybe your knees coming afterwards or beforehand, which throws the actual lift out of whack. <laughs> there are two ways to do the deadlift. You've had the static deadlift which you see that I'm doing from the floor and you're trying to generate dynamic power from a stable base. Or there is the other way of doing it where you would improve your plyometric um, strength or power and the bar, literally you don't set the bar down on the ground, you just be moving up and you come down and move up quickly again which I'll demonstrate. So the key points to remember for the deadlift are to drive up from the ground using our joints in a coordinated way from the ankles to the knees to the hips. So we're generating power from the hips to move the weight up. In our next video, we'll be covering the cleans exercise.